this is Stampy and welcome back to my let's play on Stardew Valley. It is day 24 of fall, still year one. I am <laughs> taking my time with uh, with Stardew Valley. Like I didn't think I was going to be recording this much and like I knew I was going to do like a lot of videos but I thought I was going to leave like bigger gaps like you know I might record a bit in one season then wait for the next season but like there's been like constantly like just new stuff for, for me to, to do non-stop so it's been good. I've been kept very busy in my farm in Stardew Valley. I know I was really hoping for rain. I really thought it was gonna rain. Like some mornings, like I'm just like, ah, I think it's gonna be rainy today. And then it never is, I'm always wrong. But I I still keep thinking that like every now and then I'm gonna be right. And hello, morning, Moo Moo. Hello, Cupley. Hello, Esther. How did I forget Esther? That's the one like you think I'll definitely remember. <laughs> right then, we've got another thing to, to add to a, a, our list of morning tasks and that is milking Moo Moo just to, to get some milk. Oh I haven't seen whether the uh, the cheese has been made. So in the, the last episode uh, I began getting some cheese being made so oh I need to remember to feed Moo Moo as well. I almost like just milk Moo Moo and then left without feeding. To be fair Moo Moo is going to be fine for for now because it's only her and I feed her every day and like there's loads of hay there. So I promise you she's going to be fine. She won't starve. And oh yes we have cheese! We have cheese. Uh, so what does it say about cheese? Uh, it's your basic cheese. <laughs> we made my basic cheese. There we go. Let's go and um. I mean, I can't cook anything out of it. Let's let's sell the first bit of cheese just to see like how much I get from it, just to see if it is worth selling or whether I should keep it as a present or whether I should just store it up once I can go and like cook more things out of the, the cheese. Let's just kind of work out, you know, what's the right way to play the cheese game in Stardew Valley. So yeah, let's just sell the first one to see how much it's going to be worth. But yeah, there are a million things that I want to, to get done to today. But of course, I need to, to begin things off by going and doing all of my watering. So let me just go and cut ahead so you don't need to, to watch me doing that. Okay, I've got all of the, the watering done, just gone and gathered the, the crops, put them up for, for sale. So, ooh, oh, the, the cheese is really quick. Let's let's keep the <laughs> step two of the, the cheese game. Let's go and just store this cheese in case the cheese is really valuable and I want to, to end up keeping it. Uh, let's go and throw away my milk pail for now. I don't, I'm only going to need that once a day. So yeah, first thing I want to do is before it closes, uh, as I do want to, to go over to the, the blacksmith because I've got a bunch of geodes, I can uh, give some things to the museum. I've been meaning to do it for a while and oh, I always need coal. I can't be wanting to put coal in. Okay, let's just let's just leave this gold for now. I've got like too much gold. Like that's such like a <laughs> such a weird product to have. Like ah ah, I've got an annoying amount of gold that I can't be bothered to, to smelt it. But anyway, let's go and gather. Uh, these are some artifacts that we can um uh, we can go and give away. Uh, monster loot, the quartz. I don't need that. Uh, we can take these geodes. We can take them down there. Uh, artifact. Uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, there we go. Gunther can tell me about that one. So yeah, basically I'm looking for anything that Gunther can tell me about or any geodes that I can go and have broken over. It's actually not a huge amount. I thought I had more than this. I thought I had more things. Uh, Blacksmith can break open for you. There we go. These are geodes. Gold, ruby. Gunther can tell you more about this. Let's go and donate that as well. That should be just uh, about it for for now. So yeah, let's go and take all of this stuff to the uh, the blacksmith. The main reason I want to do this is just because I can do it really, really quickly now. And it just it's just exciting to me that all I need to do is go to the minecart and I'm straight there. Like, I wish the minecart was, like, here. Like, why couldn't it be there? Like, why make me walk up here? Like, I know compared to walking all of the way there normally, like, I shouldn't be mining. Oh, shouldn't be mining? Shouldn't be moaning? <laughs> I said, I might just say shouldn't, shouldn't be moaning. I said shouldn't be mining. Then accidentally went to the mine, even though I didn't want to go there. But yeah, let's go and start off by breaking over the, the geodes. These are a bit of a, of a lucky dip. And it's a bit annoying because you have to pay to, to get them broke open in the, the first place. But... As you can see, sometimes you do get some some pretty awesome stuff out of it. And sometimes you get some not so awesome stuff out of it. Coal is alright. Uh, gold, as I said, I've already got too much gold. That's like, uh, is it like fire quartz? Yep, got some fire quartz as well there. Some stone, that was definitely not worth it. And oh, that's a dolomite I was able to, to get. If nothing else, I'm sure I'll be able to sell it for some money. Uh, some alamite uh, as well. And all that's it for those geodes. But then I got some of these geodes as well. These are like fire geodes or something. And oh, what's that? I got uh, basalt from uh, that one. This one, I got some more basalt. I guess this is all like fiery stuff. This one, I got some basalt. This one, I got some basalt. But the final one, I got some basalt. <laughs> There's hardly any point breaking it open. I guess that one's a, li a little bit less of a, of a lucky dip. So yeah, that was everything that I could take there. Definitely worth doing. And now I can go down to the, the library and deliver all of these things to uh, to Comfort. 
uh, that I can deliver and possibly uh, be able to, to get a reward for it as well. So I can deliver, there's like an ancient sword I can go and put down here. Uh, there's, I think these were like something, ice shards or something. Uh, a ruby, no, 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 not three of them, not three of them. No, only one, only one, only one, please. I want the rest. <laughs> and here we go, I was able to get a new reward for this. And all these are going to donate as well. That's okay. All of the, the future ones, I'll be able to, to know more about them at least. So at least um, I'm setting myself up in the, the future and uh, hopefully be able to get more of them. But the big question is what is going to be my reward? <gasps> What's this? I got like a LG futon bear. <laughs> I got a giant bear with a tiny head. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's go and put this inside of my house straight away. And then the, the other big thing that I really wanted to, to focus on to today is getting some of the, the fishing bundles done. Because uh, that's something that I've not done any of them. And I've done a decent amount of fishing, but I keep just fishing again and again in the ocean. So I keep just getting the, the same type of fish. So hopefully if I go and do some more fishing in the, the river and the lake and also some nighttime fishing as well, that I might be able to, to get enough fish just to, today to be able to, to complete one of the, the bundles. So let's just go and dump all of this stuff inside of here. We do not need to, to be holding on to, to this anymore. And oh yeah, I wanted to do the um the, the crab pots as well. I'm, I'm going to buy loads of crab pots. I just want to go and put loads of them down and then just leave them all down there. And then I can go and do the... um. The decorating. Right then, I need to go and use the cursor. Oh, it's huge! Oh, it's enormous! I need a bigger house just to fit the bear in. Let's put it like here by the table, can I? Oh, I want to let me place it in there. Can I put it on the table? Do I need the wrong button? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. It's because she's telling me. Let's put it here. There we go. <laughs> Fantastic! Look at it compared to me. It makes me look tiny. That is, oh, I want to get more of them. I just want like a line. I just want like an army of them. Just like every time I get home, I just want absolutely loads of them. <laughs> right then, let's go. Where should we go fishing? Okay, let's, let's go down to the ocean first. I guess there's there's no minecart that's going to get me down there quicker. So let's go down there first just to put out the crab pots. I won't go fishing in the ocean though. I want to do a few more in the river because I haven't got any salmon. Uh, I caught a salmon in the last episode, but then I needed to give it straight away as a reward. Also, while we're going past, we should probably uh, check the, the old bulletin board. And hello, Lewis. Would you like some mayonnaise? Thanks. This is great. <laughs> You're welcome, Lewis. I love their responses to getting presents. And oh, 720 gold might be worth doing. An invasive crab species is living in the local mine, threatening the native wildlife. These creatures are known for disguising themselves as such. Ah, those things. It looks like there's not a time limit. And so I'm, I'm going to end up like just, uh, defeating those things anyway at some point. So let's not worry about like, oh, sorry, kick the mic. Uh, let's not <laughs> worry about going out of my, my way to, to go after them now because I'm... Um, Gonna have to do that at some point anyway. So I can kind of come back and just, you know, that's just gonna happen by itself. And then I'll be able to get a really big reward for it as well. So a win-win in my book. So let's go and do a, a bit of clearing up on the, the beach. And it's always worth grabbing these things. You get a surprising amount of money for these things, considering that, you know, you just pick them up from the beach and then sell them. And ah, looks like from my last one, I got some broken glasses, but sometimes you do get really good stuff from them. So how expensive are they? 1,500 gold? I was gonna buy like 10 of these things and just put them all out. I guess maybe I should buy... I'll get two more, I think. Just because I need really specific things that uh, for the bundle. Like, I need to, to have them. So let's just go and put two of them down here. And uh, I should probably buy some bait uh, as well, seeing as I'm here. So let's go and grab uh, three bits of bait just to throw straight inside of there. But yeah, let's go and do the, the fishing somewhere else. Just because I do like fishing in the, the ocean so, so much. I need to, to shake things up uh, a little bit. And uh, yeah, let's go to the, the river. And get everything that we can get from there. And then also the other place I hardly ever do any fishing is in the, the lake uh, as well. So we can later on go to the, the lake. Uh, and I can go and do a bit of fishing there as well. Just to see if we can get some other types of fish. So I think I'm just going to like fish for like the rest of the day today. And then in the, the next day uh, I'm just going to go and like take every fish that I've gathered up. Mm -hmm. Take them straight to the community center and just fill it all up. And hopefully finished at least one bundle possibly two bundles but i guess we're going to have to wait and see what was this what is this thing oh, i want it i want it whatever it is i want it because it's probably some really weird crazy fish let's go crazy what is it it's like <laughs> it's like really really fast i haven't had like a challenge fishing in ages like they've been really easy for ages i don't know i'm not gonna get it i'm not gonna get it i'm not gonna get it stay oh stay i might get it i may get halfway there steady oh it's calm i've tied it out i've tied it out it's settling down and yes I got it. What was it? Please be good. I got a tiger trout. Of course it was going all over the place. It was a tiger. I mean, 
a tiger trout. It's not quite a real tiger, but still, that was quite, I'm pretty sure I hadn't got a tiger trout before. And that was a, a little bit of a, of a crazy one. So there we go. That was definitely worth me going fishing here. So... As I said, let's go and get a bunch more from the, the river, and then I'll go down to the, the lake. So I think, seeing as I've just got that, I'm going to stay fishing here until I get a salmon. Then I'm going to go and switch to the, the lake, just to see whether I'm going to be able to get anything better from over there. Okay, I was able to, to get my salmon. I got it, like, pretty much straight away from when I said I was going to, to cut ahead, but then I decided just to, to catch one or two more fish, just because, like, it's always good to have two, especially if you're going to... Uh, give something into the the bundle just so you have one to give to the bundle and then you always have one to, to stand by just in case someone really needs a, a salmon which is what you might laugh but that's what happened in the last episode Jody came and said she desperately needed a salmon and I was there ready with a with a salmon so yeah let's go and catch whatever this fish is and then we're going to go and head to the the lake because I think I've like gone fishing in the lake once and there we go I got my second salmon okay so lucky today maybe I should have checked the the tv to see if this was going to be like a, a super duper lucky day to today or something Something. So I believe, like the, I think the only big lake is the one over here. I think, I think, oh, maybe up the top right there. But I don't think I can go to that area properly yet. So I believe this is going to be the the only lake uh, I can probably go fishing in. And so yeah, I'm probably going to be getting like loads of completely different fish that I haven't even seen before in uh, in Stardew Valley, and almost certainly not seen in real life as well. Since, see, as I've never ever been fishing in real life. So yeah, let's see, let's see what kind of things. Oh, let's go on the jetty. It feels like we're more we're more properly fishing when we do it on the the jetty. I'm sure it doesn't make any difference for the uh, difference for the type of fish that you're going to end up getting. But I feel like I'm I'm properly fishing. So yeah. Let's see what these first few are going to, to be, and let's see if I if I recognise any of them. I mean, there's a good chance there'll be some that you could also get in the river as well. It's unlikely that there'd be any crossover with the, the ocean, seeing as they'd either be freshwater. And oh, yeah, that's what I was getting in the river as well. That seems to be, like, the most common thing. A smallmouth bass seems to be the, the most common thing. Imagine that being, like, your actual name of a species. Like, it's so funny when they name animals and they just, like... It, feels like, it seems like they're making fun of them, doesn't it? It seems like, ah, smallmouth bass, you know, but that's just their official name or like, you know, like big-eared lizard or, okay, probably not big-eared lizard. I can't imagine a lizard with ears, but you know what I mean? Like long-legged frog, like that's their actual official name for like that type of animal. It just seems like a really mean, like undramatic name for an animal when you're just calling it smallmouth. <laughs> oh, well, let's uh, once again, stay fishing here until I get some new things. And then, as I said, we're sleeping and then in the, the morning, uh, we can go and deliver all of these to the, the community center. Right, I've kind of had a lot of success fishing and then also not at all. So I caught loads and loads and loads of fish, which is the good news. The not so great news is the fact that every single one of them was a smallmouth bass. So I was able to catch, um, so I got six good ones and six, uh, no, three not so great ones. Yeah, so I got nine smallmouth bass. So <laughs> not absolutely amazing, but hey, I mean, I, I guess I can just sell them. Like, I don't need to, to worry about taking all of these here. So I'm pretty sure they're probably going to be one of, like, the least valued fish, seeing as they're, like, just absolutely everywhere. But, hey, I go and uh, throw them inside of here. Let's go. Let's go throw away the, the good ones. And then... Oh, no, I had even more. I had six good ones, then six okay ones, then three bad ones. I had, like, what, well, like... I don't know. I'm really bad at maths. But, yeah, I had a lot of them. <laughs> and let's just go and throw most of this trash. I know you can convert, like, the trash to stuff, but... I'm always like too lazy to, to do it. So let's not worry too much about that. But we can go and uh, uh, start some mayonnaise being made. We can put a little bit of, a, of trash inside of here. It just takes too long. I wish you could just like throw a massive pile of the, the trash in and just leave it all going. But sadly, uh, that's not the, the way that it works. I'm going to keep the, the fish on me because the first thing in the, the morning, I'm going to be going straight over to... Um, the, the community center place uh, just to, to go and throw them all in so I might as well keep as many on me as I can and oh I wasn't watching my energy I've only just looked at my energy now and I was getting really tired doing the, the fishing so I think I tied that perfectly and oh look my fishing's leveled up so fishing rod proficiency uh, proficiency's gone up I got a spinner I can get as well now and a trap bobber as well that's good that's probably gonna help me get uh, more different types of fish as well uh, apparently this is like one of the, the hardest like bundles to, to go for is the, the fish one so I'm probably going to, to not well, I'm definitely not going to be able to get it today, but it's probably going to be one of the, the last ones that I end up completing. But I would rather get a, a good start on it, get all of like the common fish out of the way and just get them all there. And then I can kind of focus on what the more difficult ones are going to be. Is it going to be a raining day? I'm expecting it won't be a raining day, which means I'd be surprised if it was. Oh, I was trying to like trick the game into making it raining. <laughs> I got a letter though. Uh, Dear Stampy, notice a chill in the air. It could just be the approach of winter, or it could be the tingle of a dark spectre. 
I hope that it's the winter. Here to help us uh, celebrate tomorrow's festival, uh, the Spirit Eve. That's tomorrow? Come to the town at 10 p.m. if you'd like to participate. Wait, so that's tomorrow. It could be the Tingle of the Air. Come to town at 10 p.m. if you'd like to participate. Is that saying tomorrow, I guess? I guess it's talking about tomorrow. But it, it just says come to the town at 10 p.m. I'm assuming it's talking about tomorrow. So that's basically like this game's version of Halloween. And I think it's going to happen tomorrow. So that kind of really stuck up on me. That is that what I needed the pumpkin for? Did I need, do I need a pumpkin for that? No. No, I didn't. Okay. I, I keep trying to find reasons why I needed a pumpkin. But I keep, I keep not being able to, to find them. Right. As always, let me go and get all of the, the watering done. And kind of all of the, the morning day's activities done. Uh, and then, um, yeah, I'll go over to the, the community center with all of the, the fish. And let's see whether we're going to be able to, to complete any of the, the bundles. Okay, I got all of the, the watering done, I believe. I feel like every day I miss like one plant somewhere, but like this is like the worst arranged farm in the world, so I don't make it easy on myself. But right, let's, uh, right, let's once again, let's go and just dump everything. Oh, look at my, look at my chocolate cake. It looks so tasty. Yeah, let's go and throw everything inside of here, and then let's just go and grab the, the fishies back. Let me just have a quick look. Do you ever need any of the, um, not the actual fish, but any of like the, like the, the seashells and stuff? So that's like river fish, crab, oh. You do, you do. Okay, okay. So I just want to take like anything fish-like with me, basically. So um, I got my salmon, my bream, plenty of smallmouth. But let's just take like, let's just take everything. And then I could maybe do two trips. The only thing is, is if I've got like the same type of fish twice, then like, you know, like I could have like a quality one and then a non-quality one. I might be able to take everything with me in just one go. For example, I don't need that clam because I already have a quality clam. Uh, I've only got one rainbow shell. I'm not going to need the algae. And I don't think I'm going to need the seaweed either. Because they're just food things. So I've got a tuna there. Do I have any more any more tuna? I've only got like good tuna. Okay, I've got sardine there. Have I got any more sardines? Let me just come cut ahead while I go and sort out this chest. Because I think I can take everything important with me in just one trip. Okay, I've gathered up all of the, the fish. Uh, I don't want to go that way. Because otherwise I might find things that I can forage on the ground. And it'll really annoy me. Because I haven't got any room to pick anything up. So I'm just going to like not look <laughs> as I go. Because, yeah, I've completely filled up my pockets with fish. I must stink. Like, I've just got fish everywhere. I don't even like, are they under my hat? Like, tucked in my shoes? I'm like, holding like a sardine like, above my head as well. Everyone is going to completely avoid me as I make my way from my town. Actually, let's just check this calendar. When is this thing? Okay, so it's tomorrow at 10pm. Tomorrow at 10pm. That, oh, that's going to be exciting. I'm going to look forward to, to that. And uh, yeah, I was able to get a bunch more pumpkins uh, as well. I don't think I actually needed any of the pumpkins, but... I have loads of pumpkins in case I ever get into scenario. And oh, I found some grapes, but I can't pick them up. Right then, let's just go and put as many of these things here. And oh look, one of the stars is complete. That's what that thing is there. Right there. No, no, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Let's. No, no, don't eat it. I want to click. Oh, is it not going to let me click on it? Why would you let me click on it? Let me click on it. Hold a tool. Oh yeah, actually, I guess I could hold there. Oh, I haven't got any tools. <laughs> Something else. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I could hold like a bit of coral, I guess. We'll be okay. Right then, a river fish bundle. Do I have any of these things? Ah, yes, tiger trap. I knew that tiger trap was going to come in handy. Let's go and throw you inside uh, of there. Is that it? For the, I think that might be it for what I have for the river fish bundle, which means I'm going to need to do a bunch more river fishing in order to, to get that one. I knew that was going to be one of the ones that I wouldn't have a huge amount of. Just because I've done like so little river fishing up until now. I haven't got any of the, the speciality fish. I'm going to need to, to get some more of them. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to do that. No, anyway, this is the one I should do better at. Because I've done loads of uh, of ocean fishing. That little red one I don't have. But this one. Oh, I've already put that one in. Um, then what is that? Oh, there's this one. Oh, there we go. The sardine. I can put the, the sardine in. Then I just need a tiny red one. And I'm pretty sure I've got them from the sea before, but I've probably ended up selling them. I think, unless it's, no, okay, it's not a, a red mullet. So yeah, I'm going to need to, to find out what that one is. Uh, what about the lake fishing? Please take some of my smallmouth bass. It doesn't even want the smallmouth bass. That's like all I was able to, to get from the, the lake. I haven't got any of these either. I don't have any of them. Where are all of these fish hiding? Maybe it's now, now I've upgraded like my fishing skills. Maybe I'm going to be able to, to do better. Ah! I think this is the, the bream. So there we go. That's good. I was able to, to get that one. And now I can do this one. I can do this one as well. I just need that weird eel thing. If I get an eel, then that's going to be the, the night fishing done. I just don't know where you get the eels from. I don't know if that's going to be the, the lake or the ocean or something. I might look that up online because I'm so close to getting that bundle done. I didn't think that was going to be the one that I'd be closest to, to, get, uh, to get done. Right then. So there's loads for the, the crab one. 
but I only need to get five of them in here. So that's pretty good. So I can put the, the shrimp in, I can put the, the crab in, I can put the clam in. I might be able to get this one done straight away. I can put the oyster in and then, oh, did I put it in? Yeah, let's go put the oyster in down there. And then I just need, I just need one more thing. One more thing to be able to put inside of here. I think that's all up that I have at the moment though. But I'm so, so close to doing that one. And I do have all of those new uh, crab uh, cages down there. So I reckon that this isn't going to take long at all for me to be able to fill that in. I want one of the snails. I want one of the little sea snails. That would be cute. Even though I'm going to put it straight into the, the bundle. And then I believe... That is everything that I'm going to, to be able to, to fill in. It's annoying. So there's three of them that I'm one off being able to, to complete. And then the other ones I'm just miles away from. But this is still very promising. I know I haven't, um, I haven't looked in the, uh, the crab thingies. I might actually be able to, to get one of them now. Some of the, the things might have caught something. So I might, if I'm lucky, be able to get something. Also, maybe, because I've, I've done really bad with the river fishing. Maybe fishing in that river there. Maybe that would count as like a different type of one. I don't know if it would make any difference, but hey, I didn't get very much luck doing it in the, the other one. So that might be a, a good thing to, to do. Let's go down to the, the crab pots though. And let's just go and uh, let's just go and harvest them and go and do that. Like I need to get into a habit of doing that every day. Like for them to be efficient, especially considering like how much money I spent on them. Like I think I'm going to be needing to, to do it every day. And no, I didn't get anything new. Okay, I mean, I still got some decent stuff, but I didn't get anything uh, new that I needed from the, the bundle. Uh, so let's just go inside of here and go and buy three more bits uh, of bait. Uh, you can make a uh, bait uh, as well from um from like the, the bugs meat. And I have done that before in the, the past, but... The, the bait is cheap enough and I'm always going to forget about it otherwise so I can just go and do it there so right then that was the the main big thing that I wanted to, to do to today so I am definitely going to be doing some more fishing in the, the the future but of course the next big thing that we need to, to focus on is the the spirit e festival aka Halloween which is going to be happening to tomorrow so there's probably not going to be too much preparation that I need to, to do for 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 that but I'll get myself a, a pumpkin ready and uh, yeah that's just going to be something that we have to, to look forward to in the, the next episode sorry though that is going to be the end of this episode here. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. As always, a link's down in the description to the next episode if you want to watch it straight away. Of course, once it is online. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!